Hello and welcome to Valdemar's unappreciated masterpieces. Once again we're travelling the length and breadth of the United Kingdom. Our mission to track down the great works of art that are just sitting under our noses. On this drizzly day we take a journey to the small market town of Howden in East Yorkshire to explore a painting that I believe deserves far more attention and appreciation than it has received. Now, usually on this show we are nosing around in Georgian sitting rooms or the dusty lofts of stately homes. Occasionally we make a foray into a local church and find a tapestry or two worth celebrating. But today, I want you to join me in a place with a far more cosy ambiance, a local public house called The Bowmans. Though dating from the late 18th century, it's more or less modern inside. Trust me, I've been to the toilets and more or less is generous. The only thing traditional in here is the ale, of which my producer has just ordered two pints. Cheers. Now, on to the artwork. As I walk into the snug where I am told the painting is located, I can feel that excitement, that old aesthetic tingle building inside of me. If what I'm told is correct, this painting is truly a work of art that captures the essence of some of the most iconic figures in American pop culture history. And here it is. It's a large work, as large as my outstretched arms. As I approach the painting, I am immediately struck by the Baroque style of the artist. The bold brush strokes and dramatic lighting are pure Caravaggio, a master of the chiaroscuro technique. Of course, used by this artist to achieve a very different effect. But it's not just the style of the painting that has me gasping in awe. It's the subject matter. You might have heard of these four. Marilyn Monroe, Humphrey Bogart, James Dean and Elvis Presley are all shown seated around a poker table engaged in a game of chance. But Valdemar, you're probably thinking, isn't gambling an age-old topic for old masters. Give us something new. But here's where you're wrong. What really sets this painting apart isn't the fating of celebrity culture or the fact they're chancing their arm for a few chips. No, it's the masterful addition of this teddy bear, who seems to be playing along with the other celebrities. As I carefully examine the painting, I'm struck by the attention to detail. In a gesture of subtle eroticism, Monroe is shown passing a card between her outstretched toes to the teddy bear, adding a sense of flirtatious whimsy to the scene. Over here, a guitar icon is balanced on Elvis's chips, a nod to his musical talent and influence, and the instrument with which he will forever be associated. It's full of this sort of thing, calling to mind the mannerist preoccupation with the artificial and the bizarre. And most impressive of all of these little flourishes, in the reflection of a mirror suspended behind Bogart, we see that he is, in fact, cheating adding a hint of drama to the scene in a subtle nod to Georges de la Tour's Renaissance masterpiece. Masterful. I could pore over this wonder for hours. It's a paragon of understated technique, that's for sure. So why am I so truly in awe of this painting? Well, it captures the essence of these iconic figures in a way that is both playful and poignant. It captures a perhaps specious moment of human frailty and it does so with a little bear watching on. A bear that, if I may be so bold, seems to transcend the human history he witnesses taking place. Facing away from the artist, we may never know what this little bear is thinking. Was he too in awe of the company he was keeping? Or were his little glossy eyes keeping score in an attitude of silent condemnation? Either way, I believe this painting is a true masterpiece that deserves far more appreciation than it has received. Thank you for joining me on this journey to explore another unappreciated masterpiece. Sorry. Oh, we're just wrapping up. Be done in one minute, love. Now, I thought there was drinking up time. Well, we've only been here 15 minutes. No, not for the BBC. It's subscription only. Yes, we are leaving. Thank you.
barmaids. I'll be back to slit your throat, you miserable bitch. Thank you.